waste foraging. And today I'm going to show you how to take the pods from the carob tree and make your own carob powder. Or, if you live in a cold winter climate, like my old stomping grounds in New York, you can do this with the honey locust tree, which is widely planted all over the northern hemisphere. Carob tree, honey locust tree, either way you end up with this sweet powder that you can use in a lot of different recipes. It's not the seeds inside the pods, but the pods themselves of carob and honey locust that have the sweetness. That's what we're going to eat, not the seeds. Start by giving them a good rinse. Bring a pot of water to the boil, add the pods, and then turn off the heat and let them soak for at least four hours, but as long as overnight. Actually, I once forgot them for two days and they were still fine. Now that the pods are soaked, it's easy to split them in half lengthwise and remove the seeds. Discard the seeds. There are reports that they've been used for food, but seriously, I once boiled honey locust seeds, or beans if you prefer, for 12 hours, and they still were not soft enough to eat. So never mind the beans or the seeds. Let's go for the sweet pods. Once you've removed the seeds, dry the carob or honey locust pods in a dehydrator or your oven on the lowest setting. You want them to be brittle enough to crack easily. Grind the pods in an electric coffee grinder. This next step is optional, but I really recommend it. Uh, put the powder through a fine mesh sieve and save the gritty bits that end up in the sieve for muffins or baked goods like that. They'll still be good. But the fine powder is going to be better for smoothies and custards and energy bars, anything where you don't want a really gritty texture. More info in the notes below this video, and I hope this was useful. See you soon.